Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be solving or evaluating a polynomial expression based on another polynomial expression or equation. We have x cubed equals x plus 1 and we're going to evaluate, find a numerical value, let me clarify that, for x to the 7th minus 2 times x to the 4th. So I'm going to be presenting two methods even though there is a third method which is super duper painful which we're not going to do but I'm just going to talk about it briefly the third method would be would be if I used it to find or maybe that will be the first method because that is going to be the most painful would be to solve for x here and then plug it into the second equation it's very brute forcey and this is cubic so solutions will not be that easy Anyways, let's go ahead and do the first and second. That's going to be good enough. But if you want to explore the third, solve this cubic and let me know in the comment section down below. Okay, so first method. And I think you're going to like, like the second method. Don't forget to like the video, by the way. Because second method is something that I don't use uh, very frequently. I don't even remember using it. Maybe I only used it once or twice the whole time. Anyways, so... Let's do the first method first. So first method is very straightforward and this is done a lot with polynomials. If you have a polynomial expression, you want to go to a higher power, a higher authority, right? Then you should always use substitution. And you know substitution is very powerful and I use that a lot. So here's what we're going to do. x cubed equals x plus 1. I don't care about x. I only care about this equivalency of x to the third to x plus 1. So I'm always going to replace x cubed with x plus 1, right? Okay. But I do need x to the 7. So what can I do? Easy. Easy. I, I, I hear some of you saying the same word. Square both sides. Okay. What happens is when we do that? We get x to the 6 equals x squared plus 2x plus 1. Awesome, but not awesome enough. We do need x to the 7th. Multiply by x. You see, we have an answer for everything, right? Mathematicians have an answer for everything. If something doesn't work, multiply by zero and you'll be good. Okay. Now what do we have? X to the seventh power. Distribute the X from the right, from the left. Doesn't matter. Same thing. Commutativity. Can't even say the word. Now, here's the fun part. I got X to the seventh, but X cubed popped up. And I do know X cubed is the same as X plus one. I don't care about x again. There are three values. Some may be complex. It doesn't matter. x cubed is always the same as x plus 1. So why not replace it? Always do it. So I'll replace x cubed with x plus 1. You get x to the 7th equals 2x squared plus x plus x, 2x plus 1. Make sense? Now I get a formula for x to the 7th. Awesome. This is not linear and that's perfectly fine. It is quadratic, but that's okay. Now, we got to go back to the question. Always keep that in mind, right? Like, what are we being asked? x to the 7th minus 2x to the 4th. So I got to take care of x to the 4th. Come on, that's easy. What is x to the 4th? We know that x cubed is x plus 1. And how do you go from x cubed to x to the 4th? You raise both sides to the power of 4 thirds? No, 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 don't do anything crazy. Just multiply by x. Multiply by x on both sides. It's, the, it's fair, right? So this gives us x to the fourth equals, distribute from the right again, x squared plus x. And yay, we got an expression for x to the fourth as well. Now we can use both of these guys in our expression. Okay, so let's see. What do we have? What is being asked? We are supposed to evaluate x to the seventh minus 2x to the fourth. What is x to the seventh? We have something for that, 2x squared plus 2x plus 1 minus 2 times x to the fourth. What is x to the fourth? x squared plus x. Plug it in. Substitute, 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 substitute. Right? All the time. So what do you get? Simplify this and you'll get something super duper amazing. This is just crazy. Because everything cancels out except for 1. 2x squared, 2x. And guess what? You get the numerical value 1. And isn't that awesome? I think it's awesome. Anyways, this is the first method. Let's go ahead and do the second method. And then I'm going to show you something. All right? Cool, cool. Let's see. 
second method. Now, second method is something that I don't use very frequently, I, like I said earlier, and that is called long division. You know why I don't do it very much? Because it takes a long time. Okay. Why don't you use long division? Because it takes too long. But this time I'm going to do it. But what am I dividing what by, right? First, I have to talk about it. So here's what we're saying. We have x cubed equals x plus 1, and then you're supposed to evaluate this, right? Suppose you set it equal to k. So now put everything on the same side. I have this polynomial, and this should give me the other bigger power polynomial, right? This implies that. What is that supposed to mean? It means that the roots of this equation are also roots of this equation. And the seventh power obviously has more roots. It's, a, I think, a heptic or a septic. Some people don't like the word septic. If you don't like it, use heptic. Uh, anyways. So it also means that the cubic polynomial divides the heptic polynomial. You know what that means? We can use division and long division. Yes, that's what we're going to do. It's going to be fun, even though it takes a long time to do, because you'll see at the end. I, I don't want to spoil the surprise. So here's how long division is done. And forgive me for writing it this way. This is just how um, division is expressed in the United States and probably some other countries. I don't know how they do it. Some people are going to do it like this. I know in Turkey, for example, they're going to divide like this. And it's been a long time. I haven't divided that way. Anyways, same idea. Uh, dividend and divisor, right? Hopefully I said it right. Anyways, uh, hopefully you can follow with this. And here's what we're going to do. We're going to first divide x cubed into x to the seventh. It goes x to the fourth times. And then you kind of have to multiply and distribute. And then negate, subtract, you know the division process. I don't have to tell you. Come on. Everybody sh here should know division. Uh, it's a division with variables. x to the seventh minus x to the fifth minus x to the fourth. If I div uh, multiply x to the fourth by that, that's what I get. Okay? Cool. Now let's go ahead and subtract this. But subtraction is hard, so let's do addition of opposites. Negate, 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 and add. Make sense? It's the same as subtracting. These two cancel out. x to the fifth goes first. Minus x to the fourth plus x to the fourth. That gives me minus x to the fourth. And just bring down the minus k. Now we're going to divide again. And I just want to clean this up a little bit. I want to write it again. My clean x cubed minus x minus 1, right? So now we're going to go ahead and uh, divide x cubed into x to the fifth. All right? Makes sense? Like this. x cubed goes into x to the fifth how many times? x squared times. Great, distribute the x squared. So multiply x squared by this. You're going to get x to the fifth minus x cubed. Do it mentally and practice and you'll get better. Now I got to negate and add. Negate, negate, negate. Cancel out. I get minus x to the fourth plus x cubed plus x squared minus k. Uh-oh, this doesn't look very good. But okay, that's fine. x cubed goes into minus x to the fourth how many times? That is going to be minus x times. Notice that minus x times x cubed is minus x to the fourth. Now distribute the minus x over here. Just multiply everything by minus x or negative x. Negative x to the fourth plus x squared plus x. That's what I get. Now we have to negate. But negating careful, t turning a minus sign into a plus sign is easy, but vice versa. Uh, it's not that easy, but you can do it. You can do it like this. Plus, minus, and minus. Make sense? Use another sign. And add. These two are going to cancel out. Hopefully you can follow. x cubed, x squared cancels out, minus x minus k. And guess what? We have x cubed minus x minus 1 and x cubed minus x minus k. So it goes one time. Distribute the 1. It's going to give you x cubed minus x minus 1. Negate and subtract. Negate and subtract. I mean negate and add, sorry. You're going to get these are going to cancel out. You're going to get 1 minus k as the remainder. But we said that this cubic polynomial divides the heptic polynomial, so the remainder should be 0, therefore k should be 1. But what is k? k is the result, x to the 7th minus 2x to the 4th, and that is going to be the answer. And you can go ahead and see that when you divide, you get this quartic polynomial, and the graph also verifies that these actually have three roots in common. 
And this brings us to the end of the video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.